Hi, I'm Tim, the cheap 3D printer. Uh, I've mentioned before that every time Cura comes out with a new version, they introduce more new experimental features. One of the features that they've had in Cura now for a little while anyway, is a uh, variable layer height, or uh, I think they call it uh, adaptive layers, adaptive layers. And so I just was curious about what adaptive layers were, uh, curious about how it worked, curious about how models would look different with adaptive layers versus regular layers. So I set out to print a couple models, same model, same filament. Uh, the only difference is adaptive layers versus regular layers. So I wanna show you that uh, today. But before we get into showing the models, let's go over to Cura and, uh, and see what adaptive layers is all about. So as you can see, I uh, have my model here. I have, uh, uh, let's get him up here, this little uh, dinosaur. Uh, I'll put a link down in the uh, description. Uh, but this little dinosaur, I thought it would be good for adaptive layers because he has lots of curves, lots of areas where uh, Cura could adapt the layers to make it look the best. So to get to adaptive layers, all you have to do is find uh, one of the little gears here, um, or you can go up here to settings and can set it, configure settings, very uh, visibility, and type in uh, adaptive, or you can type in maybe layers and find it that way. You're gonna be down in the experimental um, if you can't think of adapters, adaptive, and make sure that it's checked uh, here. And then you'll wanna check all the other boxes just so you've got all the options for adaptive layers. Then over here in Cura, when you get down here to the bottom, um, it's in experimental, use adaptive layers. And for my prints, I just left everything as it is. Um, you can vary it uh, more, adaptive layers, maximum variation. So the most it's gonna vary from, from your setting um, to, to what it's gonna use is 0.1 in this particular situation. So mine is set at 0.2. So the most it's gonna get bigger is 0.3. The most it's gonna get smaller is 0.1. Um, the variation step size, it could go up in 0.01 increments, um, up and down. And then the layer threshold, um, this is the number compared to the tan of the steepest slope in a layer. I have no idea what that means. It's higher math than what I understand. So I just left that alone. Um, so that is the adaptive layers. And you can see here that uh, using adaptive layers, this print is going to take 2 hours and 12 minutes. And with adaptive layers, it is going to be 336 layers. If we turn off adaptive layers, it's going to re-slice. Maybe. You can see an hour and 24 minutes and only 204 layers. So a drastic difference as Cura decides how it can work best uh, to adapt the layers um, to, uh, to make it turn out the best. So that's adaptive layers um, in Cura. So let's look at the models. I printed this uh, little dinosaur that you can see here. Uh, he's a cute little dinosaur. I printed these on my Tronxy uh, X5S and he turned out pretty darn uh, cool. I really like him a lot. So let's look at, let me figure out which one is which here. Let's look at the one that is regular 0.2 millimeter layer heights. And we'll see if you can see, I'll try to get this to focus here. And see if you can see the individual. This is the best view to look at. You can look at it from the side and I'll tell you from the side, I can't see a lot of difference from the side, but when I go to the top and you look down from the top, we'll see if you can see specifically on the head here. Uh, let's see if it'll focus here. Maybe you can see that, the individual layers as it goes up. And then when you go to the one with the adaptive layers, uh, you might be able to tell, let's see here. On focus well here. There we go. Might be able to tell that it 
the layers are just a lot finer. So as it got closer to the top, as it needed to, it adjusted the layer height down smaller and smaller to make those curved transitions here uh, much smoother. Um, so those are the differences between it. They both turned out really well. This is a nice, cool little model. Um, one of the things that I would suggest with this model is that you lower it below the build plate just slightly because the bottom is not flat. It should have been flat. I was looking on the uh, forum or on the uh, comments for this model on uh, my mini factory and uh, the individual that made it thought they'd made the bottom flat, but they didn't. So you can just lower it below the build plate. I did not, so I had to actually use supports in order for it to build, uh, to, to uh, print correctly. But if you lower it below the build plate, uh, you'll have no problem. So cute little model. That's adaptive layers. Like I said, it changes the layer height depending on the slope of the angle to make those angles and make those slopes even nicer than what they were before. And uh, I want to encourage you to try it. I think uh, it's a cool feature of Cura now um, to make your models look even better, make your prints look even better, make those curves come out even nicer. Um, you, you get to the point where you may not even be able to tell that there are layer you know, adjustments there as it goes up. It just does a fantastic job. And uh, so that's all I got for you today. That's Cura's Adaptive Layers. Um, I want to encourage you to uh, keep printing, keep printing cheap. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, subscribe below, um, click the links below uh, for this model. And, uh, and also I'll have a GearBest link down there. If you choose to use it, that would be great. If not, that's cool too. Um, just want to encourage you to keep printing, keep printing cheap.